Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced on Monday that Ukrainian troops are clashing with about 50,000 Russian soldiers in the Kursk region of Russia. Zelensky confirmed via a post on the Telegram application that Ukraine will significantly strengthen its positions on the Pokrovsk and Kurikov fronts in the east, where the most intense battles are taking place. Sources have reported that a faction of the U.S. Republican Party has stressed that Ukraine cannot be allowed to fall, because if it falls there will be a high probability that America will intervene in the conflict, not only with our money, but with our soldiers and troops, she said. Although Ukrainian officials have called on NATO countries to close the skies over Ukraine, the creation of a no-fly zone would put the United States in direct contact with the Russian military, which the White House has made clear it does not want to do. The United States announced the deployment of thousands of troops throughout Europe, both before and during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Sources also reported that more than 4,000 U.S. Army soldiers who were in Europe on a temporary basis will now have their service life extended, most likely for several weeks, as part of U.S. efforts to reassure its allies in Eastern Europe during the current crisis. For its part, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that its troops killed more than 300 Ukrainian servicemen over the past 24 hours in the Kursk region, along with the destruction of several combat vehicles and guns. The ministry also announced the repulse of six Ukrainian attacks in the same area, and this resulted in the death and injury of 70 Ukrainian soldiers and the destruction of several combat vehicles. The EU's foreign policy official, Josep Borrell, stated that the Union has supplied Ukraine with more than 980,000 missiles, and intends to reach 1 million by the end of the year. The EU initially planned to send 1,155mm artillery shells by March 2024, but officials later said that the production capacity was not enough to achieve this goal. Ukraine is also increasing its domestic defense production in an effort to reduce its dependence on military aid from its allies and ensure timely supplies.